Okay, I think I'm on. All right, here we go. Now look at this unit right here. Uh, unit two. So this unit's just an old friend, isn't it? That, this one we really got going. That takes a little swig of Gatorade there. Um, the colonies, Jamestown, Massachusetts, Bay City on Hill, all that. So uh, we'll try to go through every colony and then like colonial culture um, all the way up to seven, 1754, but this is the English colonies. All right, so let's just go with it and see what we come up with. All right, so you got to start with Jamestown, right? Uh, and... So, what are we going to say? Uh, who came to Jamestown? Well, first go was the first successful. Uh, what, Roanoke had failed. Lost colony. All right, two groups of people coming, like the second sons, right? They're the victim of that thing, primogeniture. First sons get everything. And then the enclosure movement. Uh, the farmer, the, the land gets kind of fenced off, walled off, so the, the poor farmer's got to move to the cities, they can't find jobs there, so they, uh, they're headed out to Jamestown. So then you're going to have, what, John Smith. So they're lazy and, you know, nothing's going right for them, so John Smith, you don't work, you don't eat. Uh, Pocahontas, daughter of Chief Powhatan. Just old friends here. Um, and, you know, they, they faked the execution of John Smith. So then John Smith leaves. So then you get the starving time because they go back to being all lazy and everything. All right. You got the cannibalism. That's not going to show up on the test. Um, but then you get John Rolfe. All right. Uh, tobacco. indentured servants and then Bacon's Rebellion kind of has a turning point and remember what the government wasn't helping out like the frontier farmers go away please go away please all right uh, and uh, so they turn around you know Bacon's like the he's the demagogue you know he's He's rich, uh, but he's stirring up. He's the rabble rouser, stirring up these angry guys. Um, and so Berkeley's trying to, you know, leave the Indians alone a little bit. So then the bacon, you know, the, the rebellion, they burned down Jamestown. Bacon disease. Uh, he got coronavirus. Um, and, or whatever, you know, the, the virus of the moment was. Um typhoid problem uh and so that's the end of the rebellion uh and so slave slaves kind of replace the uh servants first slaves were there in 1619 along with the virginia house of burgesses but the first africans you know weren't necessarily permanent slaves they were kind of servants New York Times got that thing, the 1619 Project. I need to start reading up on that. Kind of a little debate, debate, whether or not, you know, we kind of trace our heritage to 1619 or 1776. Uh, but that's Jamestown. So Jamestown's a big deal. And, the, like, the, the 1619 folks are making the case that, you know, that's, our, the, that's the American origin that plantation slave story rather than, you know, a religious uh, Puritan story. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's head up to Massachusetts Bay. Okay. Uh, should I stay or should I go? Dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun. Should I stay or should I go? Dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun. Sing with me. If I go, it will be. If I stay, it will be trouble. Dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun. If I go, it will be double. Dun -a -dun -a -dun -a -dun. Remember the next part's in British accent. 
So you just got to let me know. Dun, 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 dun. Should I stay or should I go? So that's the Clash. Uh, and the goers are the pilgrims. They're the separatists. Uh, the stayers are the Puritans. They want to purify the Church of England. They're both Calvinists, believe in predestination. And strangely enough, since God's already decided, that means you're supposed to be super-duper disciplined, remember? Um, so, Rod, let's see. What's his name? Winthrop. All right, Winthrop, City on a Hill. Model of Christian charity. This is going to be a perfect place. All right, and then right away, the Misfits. So, Roger Williams is going to found... Rhode Island, and then here she comes. Been a while, Ann Hutchinson. You know what she did, don't you? She bamboozled them. She bamboozled her inquisitors with her antinomianism. Antinomianism means against the law, saying, "Hey, you know, y'all are y'all trying to act all Catholic. You're trying to earn your way into he heaven, trying to be all super duper Christian and everything." So you know, they kicked her out. She ended up getting killed in New York. All right, uh, Rhode Island. Religious freedom. Uh, so which way? So there's your top two. So let's go back down to the south for a second. And uh, top three, maybe. Well, we'll finish out New England. So New Hampshire was for land. Really the only place in New England settled for economic reasons. Uh, and who's left? Connecticut. Roger Hooker. Puritan preacher. All right, lead Puritans out there. Uh, Plymouth gets absorbed. Uh, so we ought to put Plymouth up here with the pilgrims, shouldn't we? All right, and then right away, you know, we're on our way to running out of room here. Let's see what we got. A little over halfway. All right, so now we're going greatest hits of the colonies. And then at the bottom, we'll try to say something about culture. Okay, so what do we want to do? Let's go Carolina. South Carolina, rice plantation, bad slavery, bad slave codes. You die quick if you're, you know, rice grows in flooded areas, but, you know, next to sugar, that was the worst of the slavery. What was that thing called? There was a rebellion, Stono Rebellion in South Carolina. You know, just kind of... Uh, Apparently wasn't planned, but a lot of people got killed. Um, let me see. So then we'll go North Carolina. And so, you know, that's poor farmers. NASCAR country. James Dean in that Mercury 49. Junior Johnson rumbling through the woods of Caroline. Um, okay... Uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, we've done Virginia, uh, Maryland, Maryland, uh, Maryland's for Catholics, Lord Baltimore, uh, it's going to be majority Protestant, because it's majority indentured servants, indentured servants made up of the majority of Jamestown, all right, um, there's a little bit of religious freedom, uh, Catholics are tolerated. You can be any kind of Christian, but Jews and atheists get the death penalty. All right, then we're down here to Georgia, the noble experiment. All right, Oglethorpe. Uh, for the debtors, the debtors never come, really. But for a noble reason, uh, originally no Catholics are slaves. Uh, right there next to South Carolina, because you know it's also a buffer colony. All right. Uh, and since nobody comes, not enough people come, he's got to give up on his uh, laws against slavery and against gambling and drinking. You know, he's got to kind of ease up on his laws, or the uh, the trustees ease up on Oglethorpe's laws. So it started out as an Ogle Spare Nogle. Noble experiment didn't last too long, right? So that's everything in the South, isn't it? So that just leaves with the middle colonies. All right. Uh, New York. Hey. Originally New Netherlands, New Amsterdam, but here we go. The famous Duke of York. 
He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. All right. Uh, so it's really originally Dutch. Duke of York took it. Really diverse for trading reasons. Uh, but kind of kind of aut autocratic, not real democratic. Um, and then Pennsylvania, the real noble of the colonies. All right, so you got the Quakers. They live in everybody. Uh, and have complete, you know, uh, let's see, religious freedom. But what? Catholics couldn't hold office. All right, how much room we got? So we want to talk a little culture. So, I don't know. Let's go Africans. You know uh, that. So you're going uh, Scotch-Irish. We're the ones that settle all in the south, and we, like, chase the, the Tammany Indians out of Pennsylvania. Tammany Hall is going to be named after them. Um... What do you want to say? Grandparents. Grandparents invented in New England. People in New England uh, lived longer. And, you know, everybody got sick and people in the South lived shorter. Town meetings in New England. Democracy. Uh, ooh. Salem. Yep. And it's kind of anticipating... The second Red Scare in McCarthyism, remember Crucible's written about it, uh, and the girls get carried away uh, and um, uh, accuse the, the governor's wife. One more, one more big one, the first Great Awakening. All right, so it's, uh, what, Whitefield... Uh, and Edwards, Jonathan Edwards, sinners are in the hands of an angry God. Uh, Franklin, Ben Franklin, ooh, Franklin. Put the put his money in uh, uh, in the plate for Whitefield. What else are we gonna say about Franklin? Invent the lightning rod, the Franklin stove. Um, Great Enlightenment thinker, the Great Awakening is a backlash to the Enlightenment. Spectacle, bifocals, that's what he invent. What else did he invent? Mm, he's a printer. Uh, ooh, poor Richard's Almanac. You know, he's kind of the first American. Rags to riches story. Early bed, early and wise. Early, early rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Penny saves is a penny earns. You know, so you work hard and you save your money. All right, so that's kind of colonial culture there. All right. Um, I don't know. All the units are great. I'm not going to say any units my favorite, uh, except for, you know, the thing we were on was my favorite. I just really, really hate that we didn't get through before, you know, the time of the coronavirus. Um... Let's see. But that's a pretty good list. So, hey, uh, find Adam Norris on there, and I'll put him on there for you. And I bet that took about 20 minutes. What do y'all think? I may go ahead and put uh, Unit 1 in there. We'll see. We'll see. By the more, once you see it, you'll, you know, right now it's like, can you see that? It's 733 on... Uh, Wednesday night. Um, so when you get up, you know, you'll either get both just unit one or both unit one and two because unit one is short. Really, really short. Yeah, it's uh, 1491 to 1607. All right. 